A home daycare owner on the Hamilton Mountain says a 32 year old city bylaw is preventing her from offering parents much needed expanded care because the daycare is within 180 meters of other child care centers. The owner is facing red tape when it comes to providing before and after school programs. But as Kelly Botello tells us, a city councilor wants to change all that. Four-year-old Stetson will be going off to kindergarten in September, but peace of mind daycare owner Amanda Stewart says she can't offer before and after school care like parents are requesting because of a bylaw from 1990. We have very strong um, community connections and it's kind of sad that we can't offer our parents to extend the care after the age of four. The daycare is currently licensed with an agency overseen by the province, but in order to add 10 before and after care school spots. It needs to be registered directly with the Ministry of Education. However, the city's zoning bylaw prevents that. What happened is she ran into a regulation that is a bylaw from 1990 that uh, requires 180 meter degree separation between daycare service providers. City Councilor John Paul Danko says there is such a need in Hamilton for more child care spots and a decades old bylaw doesn't reflect the current situation. I'm already working with staff to have this uh, provision removed from the bylaw. For the families here at the daycare who have kids going to school in September, the bylaw is causing headaches. The families need before and after school care and want the daycare to be able to open up more spots. It's such a great need in the community, in all of Hamilton, in, in all of Ontario. After care is paramount. Like we, we must have that. And while they will be inquiring about the programs at their kids' school, finding childcare is not simple. There's always wait lists. And for some parents, the conventional before and after school programs offered at many schools simply aren't flexible enough. I need a little more than the standard, you know, 7 to 5 p.m. Um, care, and it's very hard to find. Danko says it could take time, but he will be bringing the issue to council with the hopes of changing the rules. Danko says with the federal $10 a day daycare on the way, more child care centers want to be licensed to be able to offer the deal. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.